Imagine throwing a ball straight up into the air. If you were to graph this in space, right, it would go up and then come right back down. Nothing really happens there. But if you were to graph it in time, let's see here, so let's make a grid here, right? So we're still throwing the ball straight up in the air and it comes back down. But in time, if we were to graph height as a function of time, right, it would go up it would hit some point and then come back down. Right, so even though we're throwing the ball straight up in the air and it's coming back down, in time it forms a parabola if we were to expand this out like this. And the cool thing about anything like a ball thrown in this way or any object thrown essentially is it makes a parabola and what do we know about this point in the parabola, well that's the vertex, which happens to also be the maximum. So it's a very cool fact that we can do this, right, because we know how to find the vertex, thus we know how to find the maximum. How do we find the vertex? Well remember the vertex formula, x equals negative b over 2a, and y is then f of that x, whatever that x. So I'll just say f of negative b over 2a. So let's do it for this example in particular. So this ball follows the equation h of t, so this is height, um, equals negative uh, 16t squared plus 32t. And let's do um, height, let's do that in feet, and just to be realistic, let's make time in seconds. Right, usually if we throw a ball, we're talking feet and seconds, right? So, that, so those, those uh, seem like reasonable units to use. Okay, when is the height the maximum? Okay, so we need to find the vertex, essentially. So now instead of x equals negative b over 2a, our variable is t. So we have t equals negative b over 2a. Well, let's see here. So this negative 16 is our a, 32 is our b. So t is negative 32 over 2 times negative 16. Well, that's negative 32 divided by negative 32, so that's 1 second. Okay, so this particular ball takes 1 second to reach its maximum height. So we could plot this right here, 1 second. How long it takes for that to happen? Well, what is its maximum height? Okay, well, now we're going to use this bit here where we just plug t back into the original equation so height the maximum height at one second is well, let's see so we have negative 16 times 1 squared plus 32 times 1 well that's 16 feet okay so the maximum height that this ball reaches is 16 feet and that occurs after one second. And maybe you're wondering where this equation comes from, this original equation comes from. Uh, you, can, you can take a good physics course, especially if you take a nice calc-based physics course. You derive these kind of equations yourself, starting with Newton's uh, second law. So if you, if you want to do that, keep going. Take some calculus, derive the equation yourself, and then you can do these kinds of problems from scratch.